This video is brought to you by Ageless Geeks. Hey, what is up guys? This is Anthony, aka Bad Bomb 82 and today I'll be doing a review of... The new SH Figuarts Super Saiyan 3 Son Goku. Now, taking a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcased in your standard SH Figuarts window box packaging. We can also see a great image of the figure on the right. Turning the box around, we can see multiple images showcasing the figure in multiple posing positions with his different interchangeable parts and accessories. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and see what we have inside. And here is Goku out of the box. And man, what a very cool update to this figure that SH Figuarts has given us. Now I wasn't a really too big fan of the first version just because the colors look really weird. And to be honest, it's pretty expensive these days. I am so glad that they decided to re-release this figure with an updated paint and updated articulation. He is a very cool figure and I cannot wait to check him out with you guys. But before we take a closer look at the figure, let's take a look at the accessories. So Goku does come with a decent amount of accessories. Starting off, he comes with 4 interchangeable faceplates, 6 pairs of interchangeable hands, and his halo effect piece. So with the accessories out of the way, let's take a closer look at Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now this is a really cool figure that I think a lot of us have been waiting for. Now we've actually gotten this figure uh, from SH Figuarts before, uh, but a lot of people didn't really like it, um, especially because of the paint. Uh, you know, I don't have that figure to compare because it's actually kind of pricey right now. Uh, but so this pretty much is, for the most part, a re-release and, and an update because this is actually a way better better figure. Now I've actually handled the one before, um, and it does pretty much share the articulation with like this guy, you know, the, more of the older style and whatnot. But now we have a more up to date, which is very cool with the updated articulation, better paint and whatnot. So it's very, very cool, and I'm really excited to take a look at it. So everything with the sculpt is what you'd expect with a Goku figure. You know, uh, SH figure always does a really good job with the paint and the skull. So it looks always very nice. You know, everything what you'd expect looks very cool. I think this is a better orange uh, than what they did with the last uh, Super Saiyan 3 figure. Uh, that one was kind of like a muddy yellowish orange. It was really weird and gross, and I really didn't like it. Uh, and with the hair, it just looks fantastic. I think all of us are a big fan of that Super Saiyan 3 hair, just like lion mane, almost like flames coming off the back of his head, it's just insane. Uh, but what's really cool with this version, uh, they actually did like the metallic, almost pearlescent uh, sheen to it uh, over that yellow, which you can see kind of glistening in, in my lights right there. That just looks incredible, very, very nice. Uh, so one thing he does come with uh, is an, a stand right here, this is an Act 3 stand or stage whatever, Act 3 stage stand, something like that. So it's 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 pretty much this that what you get with the with the uh, standard SH figure arts. Now the reason he comes with that is because this hair is just so big. Uh, he is a little back heavy uh, because he will kind of tilt backwards a little bit. And, but you can get him in some poses where he can't stand on his own. Uh, but it it really is a big help that they actually included that. I wish SH figure arts would do that a lot more. Uh, I know companies like uh, Figma include uh, stands with all of their figures, and I really wish uh, SH Figuarts would do the same. So let's look at some of the interchangeable parts and whatnot. Uh, one thing that's not really interchangeable but is an accessory, we get his little halo right here, which is very cool. Uh, it is in a little peg right there, and if you can look on the hair right there, see a little hole that you can kind of just peg this into. And it's kind of weird because it's at an angle, so you got to proportion it right. And there you got him with his halo. That's freaking cool. I love that so much. Really nice translucent plastic with a little bit of paint right there on the top. I just think it looks really cool. So I do dig that. You want to be careful because that does feel like really fragile, so that might break on you. So just be very, very careful. Uh, we do get interchangeable hands and whatnot. So you can see I have some different style hands on here. And those are pretty standard. 
you know, just standard SH figure arts hands. So we can take those off and put more like these uh, open palm hands like that for like shooting blasts. Uh, we can take off this fist here like so and put on more like a karate chopping hand you know that's for some good posing and whatnot so you got different options which is very cool so i do love that in this category uh the one thing i don't like and then i kind of wish again for especially for these dragon ball characters he doesn't come with any real effect piece i mean i guess you can consider the halo a kind of effect piece but in my opinion all sh figure arts um dragon ball characters should come with something like a blast effect or a kamehameha or Whatever it may be, I don't care, just something. So that's just me though. Uh, he also does come in the face plates, face plates, excuse me. So we have the smiling one right there. Uh, then we have this one that's kind of looking off to the side, which is kind of, I like that one's pretty cool. Uh, we have more of this uh, angry one right here with the gritting teeth. I think that looks really good too. And uh, then we have this one right here. So I'm gonna pop this off. So you just give a tug by the bangs and you can see how it pegs in right there. And I'm gonna put this one on like this, here we go. And then you got that angry yelling face, which I think is fantastic. Very cool look. Uh, definitely displaying with that one, because that just looks really cool. So let's take a look at the articulation, because it is, again, one of the more updated SH Figure Arts figures. So the head and the neck are ball jointed, so they can roll around just like that. Turn left and right, you will hinder, be hindered by the hair just a little bit. Up about that far, down about that much. Uh, all the hair is segmented, so this kind of like rolls around too, and you can pretty much get a few different uh, poses like that, because it is divided into little sections. The shoulders are can go full 360, just like set. Excuse me, just like so. Uh, out about that much. We do get a butterfly joint in there like that. It helps you to go across the uh, arm across the chest, just like so. Uh, the sleeves right here are on a ball hinge on the back, so you could roll those around too uh, for when you want to like cover up a gapping and whatnot, which is very nice. Rotate at the upper bicep or right below the shoulder. We get a double double jointed elbow, which works very good. Uh, rotation at the wrist, as well as a hinge at the wrist and roll around, pretty much anything you need to do. Uh, we got a ball peg right here at the uh, torso. So that rolls around, turns left and right, pivot side to side, crunches back and forth about that much. Uh, we do get a waist swivel just below that, and that semi rolls around too. Uh, we get hip joints that kick forward that much, back that far, kick out about that much, rotate very nicely on that peg up there, which is very cool. Uh, the new knees, so we got the double double jointed knees with that, uh, that mold sculpt right there of the pants, which looks very nice. It covers up the gapping a little bit more. We got ankle joints, allows you to point the toe up and down. Pretty much roll around, rotate, pivot, uh, all that, and we do get toe articulation. So again, overall, I think this is a really cool figure, especially if you're a big fan of this uh, version of Goku. You know, I know I am, and I remember seeing this design uh, back when I was in high school with the, the level three hair. I just thought it was so cool. I remember I would draw it constantly. Uh, just a very neat design. I know the original version of the level three Goku is kind of expensive now. Uh, and to be honest, you don't even waste your money unless you're a completist. This is a much superior figure. I think he really kicks ass. Again, the updated articulation and like paint apps and whatnot. Again, my only real complaint is that he doesn't have an effect piece. But other than that, he's totally awesome. And he is definitely a must get. So for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Captain America figure as well as a DCUC Batman figure. And for your Goku comparison, here he is standing next to a few other SH Figuarts Gokus in my collection. And just for fun, here he is standing next to Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the SH Figuarts Super Saiyan 3 Son Goku. Now overall, I think this is a really kick-ass figure. He is such a great update to that original release. His paint apps are a ton better, and I really love his updated articulation. He's got really cool interchangeable parts, but again, my only real complaint is that he lacks some type of effect piece. He needs some type of blast, just like every Dragon Ball character needs something. But other than that, he is a great figure, and I'm so glad that Bandai decided to give us an update. So for great deals, head over to AgelessGeeks.com for awesome action figures like this and all the things you love. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.